The results of independent random samples from two populations are shown below. So we have the sample A and sample B. They want us to calculate the rank sum for each sample, and they ask which would be used as the test statistic in a Wilcoxon rank sum test. So actually, in order to answer this question, we're going to have to do the rank sum anyways for each sample. So let's go ahead and try to calculate the test statistic. So the first thing I would say here is that the, um, the total for A, so we can call that uh, TA, that means the rank sum total for population A, that's going to be our test statistic. And the reason why is because it has a smaller sample size. There are less values in A than there are in B. So that's how we decide which one will be our test statistic. Of course, if they're tied, it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use either TA or TB. But the rank total for A will be our test statistic. So let's keep that in mind. All right, let's go through and try to rank the values now. So when I look at these, I'm going to say, okay, what's the smallest number? And we're going to do the ranking as if the entire set of data, both samples, was all just one data set. Instead of being from two different places, we'll treat it as if it's all one giant data set, rank it, and then we'll go and separate them at the end and, and total the ranks for each sample separately. But the ranking process involves treating the entire set of data if it's all one big set of data. So I think there's 36 is a pretty low number. Is there any value here? or here below that? I don't think so. So I'm going to give 36 rank 1. Now let's look at the next number in the list. Anything that's say 40 or in the 40s. Um, we'll have a 41. Anything lower than 41? Well there's 41.3. That's a little lower, right? I don't think I see anything lower than 41.3. So let's go ahead and call that 2. Alright, let's look further then. How about anything that's, uh, well there's something close to 41.3. 2 or 0.3 is 41.5. We'll give that rank 3. Then let's see, is there any other 41s? No. How about anything like 42? Don't see it. How about 43? There's a 43.1. Is there anything else here that's like 43.1? Nope. So we'll go ahead and give that 4, a rank, total, rank of 4. Then how about anything in the 44 range? Well, there's 44 even, so we'll call that 5. Anything around 44 other than that one? There's a 44.7. Any other thing that's 44 point anything? Okay, no, so we'll give that 6. Okay, what about 45? We'll have a 45.5 there. And I don't see any other, so we'll go ahead and give that rank 7. Then how about anything like a 46? No, I don't see it. So how about uh, anything else in the 40s? Well, there's these two are both in the 50s, so not, neither of those. And then we see these are in the 50s. This is the only other 40 value, 49.1. So I'm going to go ahead and give that rank 8. And then anything like 50. Well, 50 we don't have, right? How about 51? Well, 51, I have 51.1, and I think that's the lowest next number. So that's going to be 9. And then there's a 51.2 here. That should be 10. A 52 point anything? Well, there's an even 52 here, so that should be rank 11. And then we have 53, which would be rank 12. Then we should have 54, if we have a 54. I don't see any 54s. All right. Any 55s? No, there's 56, so that would be 13. And then this should be the last one, it's 14. All right, now that last rank here should be tied with the number of values we have total. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's my 14 values, there's my highest rank total, 14, or rank number, which is 14, so that's good. Now let's get the totals. We're going to do total for A and the total for B. But of course, A is going to be our test stats. So let's get the rank total here. The rank sum for this first set is going to be 3 and 11, which is 14, and 6 makes 20. That's 20 and 11 is 31, 31 and 9 make 40. So this is 40 for the total for A. When I do this one, let's see, I have um, 8, right? That's 20. That's 34, right? That's 42. 42 is 52. 52, that's 62, 65, let's say. Now, I added these in my head. Maybe I made a mistake. One way you want to check is to do a little formula here. You can check to see if this sum here is what it should be. It turns out that the, the rank total should basically be the largest number, which is 14, or the number of values have 14, right, times 
one more than it, which would be 15, and then divide that by two. This is a, a check to see if this total is where it should be. So if you do that, that'll be seven times 15. That's 70 plus 35 is 105. And sure enough, 40 and 65 make 105. So it looks like my rank totals add up to the proper number. This number should be equal to this. And again, how did I get it? I took the largest rank, the rank, in other words, the n for the problem. So if there's uh, 14 numbers, it'll be the same as n, right? I take that, I multiply by one more than n, so n plus one, and divide by two. You don't want to necessarily always take the largest rank because sometimes the largest rank, if there's a tie, it might be lower. It might be 13 and a half instead of 14. So you take n, which in the initial phase of ranking, before you would handle the ties, you would have the highest one be equal to the n for the problem. So either way, you take n times n plus one divided by two, and that gives you your target rank total. Now that you have the two totals, remember that this guy is your test stat. And that's your test stat because it comes from the smaller sample size, right? So we'll say that's our test statistic. And that's it.